Greetings to the best students in the nation. Welcome back. This is week two here with our virtual lessons. So let's talk about a few things before we get started. One thing, for those of you that are piano and are guitar, those of you that have instruments at home, I would really like for you to continue working on your recital pieces, on our performance songs, because I would like to have a virtual concert. You were working so hard this school year. You learned a lot of things. I would love for you to be able to showcase all of your talents and all of your accomplishments this year in a virtual concert. So I'll give you some more information about that in the weeks to come, but my idea is that you all can play along with the track that I'll provide you. You can record yourselves and then just send me the recordings. And then I'll put it all together so that we can have our own little virtual concert. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. Make sure that you continue to practice. My guitar players, make sure that you're beating up on those fingers. You can't have soft fingers. You know, those notes won't sound right. Pianists, just make sure that you continue to work. We'll talk a little bit more later on with some things that, uh, that will continue your process while you're sitting at home over there. All right, here we go. Let's see if you can clap the rhythm that I clap. Let's start here. One, two, ready, go. Let's try it again. Two, ready, go. Let's see if you can add numbers to what I clapped. Two, ready, go. Hopefully you said one and two, three, four. Here we go. Let's clap it together. Let's say the numbers this time. Two, ready, go. One and two, three, four. Oh, yes. Let's move on to rhythm number two. I'm going to add something different in this in this uh, example here. Let me see if you can pick up on it. Two, ready, go. Mm. What was that where I spread my hands apart? Let's try it again. Ready, go. Let's add numbers this time. Add your numbers as I clap. Ready, go. Hopefully you said one, two, three, four. But what was that on beat two? Why did I spread my hands apart? It's something that gives me one beat of silence. We'll talk about that later on. Here we go. Let's clap and say the rhythm. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Let's try one more rhythm. Here we go. Let's try one more rhythm. One, two, ready, go. Let's try it again. Two, ready, go. Think about it. Let's add your numbers. Ready, go. What numbers did you use? I would have used one, two, and three, four. Let's clap and count together. Ready, go. One, two, and three, four. On your screen is a note value chart. It breaks down the different notes from the longest note down to the shortest different types of notes from the top to the bottom of the screen. Let's start with the very first note at the top. It's the big open circle and it does not have a stem. This note is called a whole note. A whole note is a very long note. I will clap a whole note like this. One, two, three, four. When I clap that long note, I hold my hands together for that very long note, the whole note. Let's clap it together. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. 
Let's move on to the next note. The next note is another open circle note, open circle note, but it has a stem. This is called a half note. A half note gets two beats. I would clap two half notes like this. One, two, three, four. Let's clap two half notes together. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. All right, let's move on to this note that's colored in. It's a field in circle, and it has a stem. That note is called a quarter note. Now, that's my short note. It gets one beat, just like this. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. For my quarter notes, it will go with every number that I count. Let's clap four quarter notes together. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Now, next on your screen, you're going to see a quarter rest. Now, just like a quarter note, this only gets one beat. But for a rest, it will be one beat of silence. We'll talk a little bit more about those rests later on. Let's keep moving. Our next type of note is an eighth note. Now, on your screen, you're going to see an example of one single eighth note that has a flag. You're also going to see an example of two eighth notes grouped together. They have a bar across the top. All of these notes on your screen are eighth notes. An eighth note gets one half of a beat. I count my half beats like this. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and. I use the word and to separate my beat into a half. Let's clap eight eighth notes together. Ready, go. One and two and three and four and. Now, just like for your quarter note on your screen, now you're going to see an eighth rest. It still gets a half of a beat but it's a half a beat of silence. Let's move on to my very last type of note. Now, quite a few of my fifth graders and fourth graders have asked me about these notes. I've never taught them to you before, but I think now's the time. On your screen is a 16th note. You'll notice that a 16th note either has two flags when it's a single 16th note, or it will have two bars across the top if there are more than one 16th note group together. Sixteenth notes get one fourth of a beat. I would count my one fourth beats like this. Ready, go. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. All right. So from the top all the way to the bottom, we have a whole note that gets four beats, a half note, that gets two beats, a quarter note that gets one beat, an eighth note that gets one half of a beat, and a sixteenth note that gets one fourth of a beat. Now, just like last week, I would like for you to start every new measure or every new rhythm with the number one. Let's see if you can figure out the first rhythm. Yes, I hope that you put one and two and three, four. Notice that beat three is a rest. That's going to be one beat of silence. Let's try to clap my rhythm together. Two, ready, go. One and two and three, four. Don't forget to separate your hands on your quarter rest. Let's try it again. Ready, go. One, and two, and three, four. Awesome. Let's move on to rhythm number two. 
Take a look at rhythm number two. Make sure you start with the number one. Hopefully the rhythm that you wrote looks like my rhythm on the screen. Let's clap. Ready, go. One, two, three, and four. Oh yes, let's clap it again. Don't forget about that rest. Ready, go. One, two, three, and four. All right, piece of cake. Let's move on to my next rhythm. All right, here we go. Let's try rhythm number three. Ready, go. One, two, three, and four. Oh, yes, you have a rest on beat one this time. Let's try it again. Ready, go. One, two, three, and four. All right. Oh, yes, we're using these rests today. Let's move on to my next rhythm. This one is going to be a little bit more difficult. All right, here we go with rhythm number four. Two, ready, go. One and two, three and four. Remember that the eighth rest only gets one half of a beat. It's a little difficult. We'll keep working with these. Here we go. Let's try this rhythm again. Ready, go. One and two, three and four. And four. One last rhythm. All right, let's try to clap this difficult rhythm. Two, ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four. Oh, a bunch of eighth notes, a bunch of eighth rests in this exercise. Let's try it again. Ready, go. One, and two, and three, and four. All right, great job working with your rhythms today. Let's go back to the very first day of piano or guitar class. We talked about some special symbols that you're going to see in music, and they're called clef signs. Let's see if you remember the difference between these two clef signs. Now, this first clef sign is called the treble clef. Can you remember the other name for the treble clef? Yes, it's called the G clef. Why do I call it the G clef? That's a rhetorical question. I'm not going to answer that question right now. I think you should know. But if not, we'll come back next week and talk a little bit about it. But why does that clef sign have two different names, treble clef and G clef? Now, how about this sign? 
the sign is called the bass clef. What's the other name for this clef sign? 